Hey, I want to take a quick second to make a video about um, something. I, I used to have my office based mostly out of my house and out of my uh, garage, but now we have a new office. Ever since then, I, anytime I would do an interview, um, I'm limited on, you know, quick ways that I can gauge someone's, you know, experience in electrical. So this is um, something I used to do uh, that kind of gave me a quick uh, insight into how how far somebody is along in their trade and, and uh, I'm gonna have to fix it it's you know it was always cool to have these couple unique issues uh, in my service entrance but now I'm gonna have to fix it I mean one of the main things is my, it, the service is very low um, you know that's one issue here I mean I can literally touch it so that I need to correct um, but uh, the issue that I would get you know to show guys and ask them you know there's I would say there's at least three problems here almost four um, in this box here um, and can you tell me what they are so I'll leave it for a second here and you guys can see if you can pick out the issues in this box here All right, so I'll go over some of the issues real quick. Um, first off, the biggest one is double tap. All right. Um, second one is this is a 200 amp main breaker. And uh, the wire size here is too small. All right. Um, it's number two, I think, and it's supposed to be too odd. And then another one is it's missing a bushing. That's the kind of iffy one a little bit, uh, but it's still definitely a code violation. Another one is it's missing the retaining bolt for the main breaker. And then also the main breaker is upside down. It's supposed to, any, you're never supposed to have the on position be down. It's supposed to be up. Um, so th that's the issues here. I'm gonna have to correct them now because I don't use them as a testing thing anymore. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I probably will go with an underground service and I, and I will make a video about that. But anyway, uh, th watching and I hope you got some of the issues that were incorrect in that panel and, um, go ahead down and drop down in the comment section and let me know how you did.